This is the leaf of life plant. The leaf of life is etched in Jamaican traditional medicine and folklore. The leaf of life is scientifically called Bryophyllum pinatum. However, a more common name for this plant or herb is the miracle plant. Wagwan Massive, I'm Fziba. A warm welcome to you if you are here for the first time and if you are returning, also a warm welcome back to you. Now we're gonna get right into this video. We will be sharing with you on the leaf of life. Now I've done a couple of videos um, talking about the leaf of life, showing how I incorporate the leaf of life into my lifestyle, into my diet, into my hair routine. But in this video, I'm gonna be sharing a bit about the leaf of life. We're gonna get into some of the benefits and some of the uses of this very potent, miraculous plant. Now there's something so special about the leaf of life that makes it a wonder and a miracle. This is just one of those plants that can never die without first reproducing. So right between the jagged edges of the plant, the plant will reproduce new leaflets or plantlets even without soil or water. Now I see some persons attempt to dry the plant and to powder it. However, attempting to dry the leaf of life plant whether you're using heat or air, will destroy almost all its properties and nutrients. This is one of those exceptional herbs that must be consumed in its fresh state. The leaf of life, it grows wildly in Jamaica. It can easily overpopulate or overrun an area because of how rapidly it produces. The plant produces these variegated bell flowers and at this time, it is not advisable to use the plant for its medicinal benefits. The leaves of this miracle plant maintain their integrity the most when it is of a deep green color so it's best grown in shady areas and not too much sunlight. In Jamaica, the leaf of life is used for its spiritual and medicinal benefits. For its medicinal benefits, it is used as an effective remedy for coughs and colds. So when we were children, we would get this as our cold medicine, either this or the rice and peas bush, which we will talk about in another video. In essence, the leaf of life is thought, you know, in Jamaica to rid the body of phlegm and mucus. Now I share how to make this cold remedy on the channel so you can feel free to check out that video after you're finished watching this one. However, I will just go over briefly how we actually use the leaf of life in making cold remedies. Now to use the leaf of life as a cold remedy, this can be done in several ways. Here are a few ways in which we use the leaf of life. Now usually the juice is extracted and mixed with salt. We add no water to it, just the pure juice squeezed from the leaves and as I said, we mix this with a pinch of salt and we feed this to whomever is experiencing the problem with a cough or cold. Another way to extract or to use the leaf of life for its medicinal benefits is to gently quail the leaf over heat just for a few seconds and then the juice is extracted by squeezing the leaves um, some persons will also make a tea from the leaf. So that's three ways in which we use the leaf of life as a remedy for coughs and colds. The leaf of life or miracle plant is also used in the treatment of bronchitis or asthma. So any kind of lung conditions. The leaf of life is a type of succulent. The leaves contain a high water content and so squeezing the juice from the leaves yields sufficient amounts of liquid that is sometimes used to treat insect bites, skin rashes, bruises or boils similarly to how we use the pepper leaves. One of the common benefits of the leaf of life in Jamaican traditional medicine is that it is also used as a treatment for kidney stones. Sometimes without even being ill, some Jamaicans will chew on a few leaves as you see me doing here. I'm chewing on one of the leaves of this miracle plant as a preventative measure. Some persons just think that, you know, the leaf of life it boosts the immune system the leaf of life has regenerative properties that is thought to revitalize and energize the body and so you can see clearly why persons would just chew on it now just a word of caution the smaller leaves tend to be a bit more bitter 
than the more mature leaves. The anti-inflammatory properties of the leaf of life makes it a useful treatment for not just coughs and colds, but as a treatment for you know healing scars and minor skin abrasions or injuries. Because of the properties of the leaf of life, I personally, and guys you have seen me using this plant on my channel, I personally use it to keep away premature graying and I also use this frequently in my hair care routine. Guys have tested and proven that the leaf of life actually helped me immensely with recovering from hair loss. Now some other uses of the plant that I will mention briefly. The leaf of life is used as a treatment sometimes for some types of worms. It is also used to treat stomach issues, mild headaches and to regulate blood sugar and blood pressure levels. In more recent times, the leaf of life is gaining popularity in skincare products. So because of its regenerative and anti-aging properties, we find that a lot of persons or a lot more companies are using the leaf of life in their skincare products. If you got this far into the video, it means that you appreciate of the information so please i'm begging you give the video a like and if you have not already subscribed please go ahead this is a perfect opportunity to click the subscribe button and also to touch the notification bell now the curanto paddle plant go the plant miracle leaf cathedral bells whatever you want to call it this is a miracle or a wonder herb it is rich in nutrients and vibrant with life so i thank you for watching i hope this video was informative and interesting to you and so i'll see you in the next video